Hello, it's Adam from Rebel Technology, and today we're going to be looking at building sequences in pure data on the computer to control modular synths using the open sound module over Wi Fi. Today we'll be building something a little bit different in pure data. Rather than building something that runs on the owl, we'll be building something that runs on the computer. We're going to make a sequencer that uses open sound control over Wi Fi to control the open sound module. Now that means that you can use your computer to sequence and control modular synths. We'll be using Pure Data 0.470, which is a different version to what we've used before, but it's free and you must get it because it's got lots of useful objects for open sound control. Now, go to Pure Data. The heart of the sequencer is going to be a timer, so we'll create a toggle for turning that timer on or off, and we'll use the Metro object. Now the output is a bang at a regular interval. If we give it an argument of 200, then when it's turned on using the toggle, it will send out a bang every 200 milliseconds. That 200 can be changed so that the metro goes faster or slower by connecting a number box to the right in it and changing that number. Now we need to turn those bangs into numbers. So we need some kind of counter. We can make a counter using two objects, float and plus. The float object is written as f, and we'll write the plus object with an argument of 1. When a number comes into the plus object, 1's added to it and it comes out. A number that goes into the right in it of float is stored, and then a bang into the left in it of float will output that number. So to make a counter out of those, we connect the outlet of float into plus 1, and the outer plus one into the store in it of float, and then the bang to the metro go into the left in it of float. And to see how that's a counter, we connect it to a number box, turn the toggle on, and you can see it's counting. The only problem is that it's just counting forever. If we're going to make an eight step sequencer, we only need eight numbers. So to do that, we're going to use the mod object, modulo. Now that divides the input by the argument and tells you the remainder, and you'll see how it works. If we type mod 8, then we'll get numbers 0 to 7. If we turn the toggle on, there you can see. Now we're going to be using this all around the sequencer, so we're going to use the send object, which can be written as s. So I'm going to write s clock. Now, every time we want to get this uh, numbers or this stream of numbers, we type receive clock or R clock, and we'll get whatever is coming out of here. Now, to control the CV voltage, I'm going to use an object called array. Now, size 8, because it's an 8-step sequencer, and the name can be array1. And here we have... Now I want to check that the range is right, the CV voltage. We want it to be between uh, 1 and 0, not 1 and minus 1. And we want to get the numbers from the array. We'll go R clock. I'll put the number box so you can see what we're getting from that. And we can read the array using tab read. So if you write tab read and tell it what to read, array 1, then when we input a number to tab read, a number from 0 to 7, it will tell us what the value is. So there you go. And here we have these all near the top, then near a 1 near the bottom, then near a zero. Now, how do we send this to the open sound module? Well, we're going to have to use the net send object. And the net send object needs to have these two special qualities. It needs to be told it's using UDP and binary. But don't worry too much about that. And it needs to be told to connect to the open sound module. 
And we do that with a message called connect. And we have to type in the IP address of the open sound module, which is 192.168.0.1 and the port number, which is 8000. Now we have to format this a little bit before it goes in. So we're going to use, oops, I can let that there, an object called OSC format. We write OSC format, and in order to send to um, the CV output of A on the open sound module, we type in OSM, open sound module, A, channel A, CV for CV. And we can connect that to there. And we need to make sure that the net send nodes to send that. It's a list, so it needs to be told list, prepend, send. That just puts the word send in front of whatever's coming out of there. And we also need to get rid of the word list. So we use an object called list trim. But don't worry too much about this because this is just formatting. And move that a little bit out of the way. Now, we also want to send triggers as well as CV. And to send triggers, I'm going to use the toggle object. Now remember the toggle will output a 1 or a 0, so I'm going to use 1s for a trigger and a 0 when there isn't a trigger in the sequence. Now I'm going to store them in float objects. So I begin by creating 8 toggles. I'll try and get them a little bit underneath those. And I will use the wonderful tidy up function in pure data, which unfortunately doesn't work in life. Um, and each one of those will be connected to a float object, which stores the value, whether it's a trigger or not a trigger in the sequence. Move those out of the way. Now I need a clock to ink run through the sequence, which we've already got, and I need to be able to send out a bang for each step of the sequence so we can output whether it's one or zero, you know, trigger or no trigger. So again, we'll have our clock and we'll use the select object, which can be written as cell, and which you might have seen before. Cell not one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. That's for each step of the sequence. So when it gets a zero inputted, a bang will come out of here. When it gets the one, a bang will come out of here. A two, bang out of here. Three, out of here, and so on. So I can connect zero to the first step, one to the second, and so on. And we can see if that's working by connecting them all to a toggle at the end. So let's start the sequence. Nothing. Input a couple of toggles. There you can see it's 
working. Now, we want to send that to not the OSM ACV, but OSM A trigger. So we'll just copy this over. And if we just change the CV to TR for trigger, we can connect that and that there. It's looking a little bit messy, but there we go. And now if we connect that, if we look at the PD window, we'll see it's connecting to port 8000. So we've built a sequencer and we've got the polyblaps patch loaded on the OWL and on the open sound module I'm going to connect A trigger out to the push in I'm going to connect A control voltage out into input A which is pitch let's set the sequencer going <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.